Welcome back to another edition of Rudy's Rants, where I get to go off about some new topic of the day. This is Rudy Rodriguez Shoma from Rudy's Rants, part of the Come On Now, the podcast network. Before we jump in, thank you so much for your continued support of our channel. I know we've been a little slow this past week in terms of new video content, but I'm jumping back on here today as we have <clears throat> some W Olympic Team USA Women's Olympic Update. And the continued, <laughs> I mean, how, how else do you say it? The con, if it wasn't for, it, it, Team USA should be very, very thankful for Jackie Young. Because if it wasn't for Jackie Young right now, we would have had back-to-back -back games of completely atrocious backcourt play from Team USA. Remember? Team USA, the the team that di didn't didn't want to include Caitlin Clark because it would be too physical for her, the the Team USA that um, decided that marketing doesn't matter, the Team USA that is drawing seven million people less than was drawn in two thousand twelve, that Team USA, yeah, that one, because once again. Yesterday, Team USA wins over Germany, 87-68. Um, but you finally had someone else besides Brianna Stewart and Asia Wilson put the ball in the basket. Stewart and Wilson combined for 27. Um, but Jackie Young came off the bench and had not, had 19 points on 7-13, shooting 5 of 8 from 3. Very effective, very efficient. But... Look at the rest of these guards. Remember, Chelsea Gray was put on this team because she's better than Caitlin Clark. Yeah, sure. Diana Taurasi was put on this team because she's better than Caitlin Clark. Yeah, sure. Combined yesterday, Chelsea Gray and Diana Taurasi combined to go 0 for 4, 0 points, 2 assists, 2 rebounds. Sorry, 3 assists, 2 rebounds in combined 12 minutes of play. They both played six minutes. They both did not score. They both started, and they both took a seat on the bench in the second quarter because they're largely ineffective as they were losing to Germany at the end of the first quarter. They're ineffective. These are the two women that were put on this team ahead of Caitlin Clark. And look, I can go on the list. Jewel Lloyd, 0 for 2. Sabrina Ionescu, 1 for 4. She had six points, five assists. Lloyd didn't score. Kalia Cooper gets a chance to play again. She has nine points, three of five. Kelsey Plum has six points, two of five. She also had five assists. But, bro, this guard play is not good. I did not watch the game yesterday in the afternoon, but I was doing some cleaning up around my house last night, and um. It happened to come on like at 11.30 at night or 12 o'clock at night, a replay of it. It was 11, 11.30. It was a replay of it. And I was I was cleaning up, so I watched while I was cleaning up. I wasn't impressed. I, 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 I'm, I'm watching this game, and I'm looking for all the physicality that I was told I was going to see. I'm watching the U.S. win this game rather easily after a terrible first quarter but I'm not seeing the guard play that was supposed to be so great. Jackie Young shot the ball well, but the rest of the team, I mean, Cooper did finish with three of five and she had three threes, three for four from three. I mean, I'm sorry, Copper. I always, I always call her Cooper. Copper. But man, oh man, <laughs> you cannot sit here and tell me that Caitlin Clark isn't better than these women. And I don't want to hear about it anymore. I don't want to hear about... Uh, 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 I don't want to hear about. I don't want to hear about it anymore. I don't want to hear about it. I'm looking up. I'm looking up the ratings. I can't find the ratings in terms of yesterday's game. I know what they were. The first game it was three million um, against Japan. But I, I don't want. I just don't want to hear about what's going on here. I mean, the U.S. men's basketball team averaged ten point nine. 10.9 million viewers on NBC and Peacock. The women got three. 
10 years, 12 years ago, the women averaged 10, got 10 million viewers. But you guys are going to keep telling us and, t and keep pushing this narrative that Caitlin Clark wasn't going to draw. That people were still going to watch. But people aren't watching at that same level. Are people going to watch? Sure. Are people going to watch as, they, as if they would have watched with Caitlin Clark on that floor? No. I, I, I'm... <sighs> The little bit that I do watch of this, but I didn't watch last night because it was on, and it, it, it just wasn't anything that makes you say, oh, my God. It, it wasn't. And, and Germany's missing people. Germany's missing people. So I don't know if that makes a difference. I don't think it makes a difference. I think the Team USA is going to win regardless. I don't think they should have any trouble. But this is not impressive to me. This is not blowing me away. This, is, this guard play is just bad overall. If it wasn't for Jackie Young, they would have been back-to-back -back atrocious games from the guards combined. I mean, if you really want to look at it, as a unit, the seven of them combined to go 13 of 33 at 39.4% shooting. If you take Jackie Young off of that list, it goes back to six of 20 as they were in, game, in the last game before against Belgium. Where they were combined six of twenty for sixteen points and fourteen assists. What they combined for today, I mean, yesterday, nineteen, twenty-five, thirty-one, forty, and they had forty. They combined for forty, so they did score some points, but that's nineteen of it was Jackie Young. But yeah, thirteen of thirty-three shooting, which is not great. You remove Jackie Young, the rest of them were awful. Again. Except for Copper, who was three or four, three or five, these, these guards are not doing anything special. And you want to know why? They're all volume. That's the thing about about women's basketball. It's volume. It's not. It's not efficient. It's an inefficient sport. And I think I, th I think we're all seeing that now. I think people are all seeing that now. It's an overall inefficient sport. A lot of baby bunnies missed. A lot of easy shots missed. It, 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 it's just not an efficient sport. So all these guards who have these great numbers in terms of scoring in, in, in the WNBA, they do it based on volume. Like Asia Wilson is an efficient scorer. Breonna Stewart's an efficient scorer. Jewel Lloyd's not an efficient scorer. Kelsey Plum is not an efficient scorer. Tarasi's not an efficient scorer. Jackie Young is typically efficient. Um, but overall, it's not an efficient scoring game. So people are, are going to take extra level amount of shots to score a certain amount of points. You know, right now, right now they're qualified now for the, the medal round. Um, who do they play first? Who do they play first? I'm not sure exactly. Basketball. Where is basketball? They play on Wednesday against Nigeria. Um, so they, they play Nigeria. The men actually play tomorrow against Brazil. But yeah, the women play Nigeria on Wednesday. They should win that game, and then they'll. I, I think the game that you're it will end up seeing is is them versus is the U.S. versus Spain. That seems like the likely path for um, this tournament. I don't see them losing. Like I said, I don't see them losing. I never thought they would lose, which is why the whole argument about it being too physical for Caitlin Clark was laughable. Um, but at the end of the day, you have a you have a situation where you have guard play that's just below standard. It's not. It's not even good. Like you would think that they would be at least good. They're not even good overall as a group. Those guards are not playing well. They're, they look, they don't look good. They don't look good, you know. So I don't know if people watched the game yesterday, but if you watched the game, sound off on. Let me know what your, what your thoughts of it are. Let me know, you know, how, what you think of the fact that you have guards that are completely underperforming, guards that were supposed to be so damn great, you know, and uh, <laughs> just look like shit furthering the argument that Caitlin Clark should have been on this team, which I'm going to hold to my grave and people can sit here and tell me, Oh, this is all you talk about. Yeah, you're right. It is right now. 
right now, this is really what we talk about. This is what we talk about. Football hasn't really started yet. Most people aren't interested in baseball. NBA is not going on right now. You know, we do talk about combat sports, and I will have some stuff on combat sports. But, yeah, we're talking about Caitlin Clark from Team USA. And imagine how much we have to talk about right now if she was playing. That's what you. Do, that's what folks don't want to understand. If she were playing right now, the amount of things that would be talked about about this event would be crazy. But because she's not playing, there's not a whole lot to say. Because none of this stuff is really all that exciting. It doesn't move the needle. Most of us don't care. And even if we watch it, we still don't really care. So let me know your thoughts. I'd like to hear what you have to say about this situation and how the guard play is so bad for Team USA. Um, yeah, that's about it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hit that bell. Come on now.